Today we're going to be mixing meth. But first I'm just going to explain what methanol actually is and how it actually will benefit yourselves. Uh, methanol and water injection will basically help you increase your power, reduce air intake temperatures and it also prevents detonation or engine knock. We have installed the methanol kit on the VXR but now it needs to go down for mapping which is actually happening tomorrow to get the methanol mapped in. There is no benefit if you just chuck the methanol on and just try running it as it is. The engine will need tuning to suit. Now with all the research I've done into methanol injection and mixing methanol injection is usually in America and now they measure stuff a little bit different to us over in the UK so we do it per litre, they do it by quart and the US gallon. So I'm going to do my best to try and explain to you guys how I've worked it out per litre. So I'm no mathematician but I've done my very best to try and show you guys how to mix it. Um, if you mix it by volume it's incorrect because methanol actually weighs less than water so per litre of methanol it's 0.791 kilograms and one litre of water is one kilogram. So if you were to mix by volume 50% of 50% of each methanol and water by volume you would get 43% of methanol and 57% of water. Now you, it's up to you guys it's easy to do it that way however we want performance. So to get 50% um, and 50% of each sorry by mass you will need 57% of methanol and 43% of water. Now in a 5 litre mix at a 50-50 by mass you will need 2.85 litres of methanol by 2.15 litres of water. Now we are going for a 60-40 mix because we're going for a bit more power, a bit more uh, advanced on the timing. So we are going to do a 60-40 mix by mass. So we need 3 litres of methanol by 2 litres of water. Now it's not just any water either, you need deionized water. Um, I'm going to show you what I've bought. Uh, I, the reason I've gone this way is cost. Now you can buy a 50-50 mix, 20 litres about 60 to 65 pound of pre-mixed methanol slash water. I've done a lot cheaper than that, and you guys can too. So as I said, yes you can buy a pre-mixed, um, and it will be coloured and everything ready for you just to use, just to chuck straight in your tank, and it will be a 50-50 by mass mix. However, I went and bought my own methanol and distilled water, I know I said deionized, distilled deionized, just basically uh, free of any minerals and trace stuff. So, I'm just going to show you what I bought. So we've got 99.95 pure methanol alcohol, and we have pure distilled water. Now, as I said, it's about 60 to 65 pound to buy 20 litres of pre-mixed methanol and water. I paid less than 63 pound and I got 40 litres, so I got 20 litres of each. Definitely worth doing yourselves. Another thing to note is methanol is extremely flammable until it's mixed with the water. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area and obviously away from anything with flames or spark, anything I could ignite it. So with that being said, make sure you got all your PPE on because this is quite dangerous. Okay, maybe I'm just over exaggerating, it's not quite this dangerous. So as I said, we want a 60-40 blend. Now I want to try and make about, I don't know, 15 litres. As you can see, I've bought myself a nice big 20 litre jug. Along with, oh, I suppose that's more of a jug, that's a container. Yeah, anyway, that's a 5 litre container with a nice porridge pot on it. So um, 15 litres of it. I'm going to mix the water first and then I'm going to go on to the methanol. Put it all in there and then we're going to use something to dye it so you can actually see it. So first percentage as I was saying, we're going to need 6 litres of this distilled water and 9 litres of methanol. I'm going to start with the water because it's less uh, flammable and will get you less. Slightly over five. Another should be five, but you never know. Oh. 
Now on to the methanol. Like I said, I could just chuck this in, but as I've improved, it was slightly under. It's always worth checking. Now this jug was a couple of quid on eBay, but they were all clear, so I've marked them up so you can see a little bit better. So we're gonna go five and then four. Try not to breathe this stuff. So there we have our 60-40 blend, 15 liters. Now, as you can see, it is clear. Now, in the actual back of the car, it's harder to see as uh, this is a bit more frosted, the bottle is. So what they recommend using is, once again, a little bit controversial. Some people say, no, it messes your lines up and all the rest of it. It's just a couple of drops of food coloring. Now, I can't see how that's gonna mess your lines up, to be honest. It's literally hardly anything, considering the volume of the fluid we got in here. The other alternative, is to put a colored ping pong ball or something that floats in the in the tank. I know we got level sensors on them, but I always like to keep an eye on them, not let it go that low. So yeah, this is just the best way of doing it, I think. As they recommend, literally a few drops. Give it a mix, we need a little bit more, we'll put a little bit more There we are, so much easier to see now the line and level over there. Literally put six, seven drops in there. Like I'm saying, there's the difference, obviously you can see a bit too easier through these ones, but the container in the car is a lot more dense, you can't see it as well. So the next step is get the car in. I got a purger system because it's got Sorry, I haven't got a period yet. I gotta empty the system because it's still got a bit of water where we tested it. And then we're gonna put the methanol in, and then purge the system. So as I mentioned, we put water in the system just to test that the methanol was actually injected in. Yeah, I don't know why I put so much in it to be honest, but now we gotta drain it out. So all I'm gonna try and do is pop the good thing about these connectors. If you've got two hands, it's probably better. There we are. Oh no, it's going everywhere. So yeah, we're literally just gonna drain the system. Like I said, see how hard it is? It's actually easier on the camera. But when you're looking at it, it's really hard to see the level. We're gonna get this drained out and put the meth in. So here we have our pre-mixed water meth. I'm ready to go in. I'm just gonna pour this now. I'm probably gonna have to put the camera down somewhere if I can. Uh -huh. Perfect, I think. Yes. So we're gonna fill this up and then we're gonna try purging the system. Here we see it's a lot clearer to see now in the bottle without going nuts. Just shy of a gallon to be honest, but hey ho. I think it's 1.15 US gallons. Pop it back on, and I'm gonna show you what I've done at the front to catch all the excess meth, because I don't want to just spray it all over in my engine bay. So as you can see, the nozzle is there. I know in the video we've done the V2 nozzle, I've actually upgraded the V3. Um, as you can see, new map pipe, uh, new top hat, and the intake all done by Mike, uh, sorry, by Nicromobium. Um, once again, massive, massive thanks to him and Gualia, Gualia uh, Engineering Services, who actually helped me put the thread and everything into that to make sure it's sealed. Anyway, so what I've done is taken the line off the nozzle, put a six mil hole in a bottle, so that basically it doesn't just squirt meth and water all over my engine. So I'm gonna go and purge the system now, I'll show you how that's done. So the purchase system, we've actually put it to an ignition. Yeah, sorry, an ignition. It's been a long day. Um, so that now means that the methanol is live. 
you're going to press the test button so as you can see the lights are actually coming on in here we've hidden the controller in here which is nice press and hold the test button you can hear it purging it's spraying I think the test runs for a few seconds and then it shuts off obviously just in case you're burning wider properly as it's a test now we're starting to get a little bit of meth through I'm going to take this bottle from an empty to make sure we are getting the meth all the way through to the front ready for the remap tomorrow so there we go like i said i've literally gone really light with the whoop it's got a hole on top of that gone really light with the food coloring as i didn't want it to be you know too much of it just enough to see it in there we purged off i would say a good liter or so um so we've definitely got meth through the system now so uh yeah it's pretty much ready for the remap tomorrow at TTC, the tuning company down in Swansea. Just want to say a massive thanks to Ash and Ped for all the info and everything on doing this setup ready for it to come down to them. Uh, we've done a few other mods, but I'm going to run through them in the other video uh, with the remap just to show you guys what we've done to try and get it up close to that 400 mark. So I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, not a mathematician. These are my estimates, so double check. So I end the video here. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bruce! Haha. <laughs> Dog.